All right, welcome to part two. In part two, what we're going to be doing is setting up our blocks editor. So make sure you've clicked on opening your blocks editor. And while we have it open, let's go ahead and open a new emulator. And when it comes up, we'll connect to it. So let's see. Let's get started with our blocks. We want to start out by going to My Blocks, and we'll start out with the left button, getting that set up. So you want to select the one that says, when the left button is clicked, do this. From there, we're going to go to the image sprite, because we want the image sprite to move when we click the left mouse button. So find where it says, set image sprite 1.x2. So right here, it's at the bottom, it says set image sprite 1.x2. And what they're talking about is uh, basically the, the pixel for that. And we're going to go to built-in and math. And we're going to select the addition. And we're going to go back to my blocks and the image sprite. And we're going to select image sprite 1.x. And then go to built in, math, and number. And we're going to assign a value of 10. So when the left button's clicked, it's going to set the position of the image sprite for x to the position plus 10 pixels. So these values are in pixels, 10 pixels. So if we made a character that was 40 pixels wide, then 10 would be about 25% of it. Okay. And let's see, we've got our emulator, so I'm going to open it up and just connect to the device so we don't have to wait later. Okay, so while we're doing that, we're going to continue. Now if we just left it like this, when we hit the left mouse button, it would move it over 10 pixels and then every other time we hit the left mouse button it wouldn't do anything so we have to go to built-in and go to control and add an if test then do statement and we need to also add a variable so we're gonna left click anywhere on this green part here and go to definition this is just a shortcut and we're going to select variable and we're going to name the variable left position and we're going to assign a value to it I'm actually just going to select this by left clicking it and then do control C and control V and we're going to give the left position variable a value of 10 okay so we're going to work on this right here if test then do so we're going to go up to my blocks and my definitions and we're going to select the one that says global left position this is the value of the variable we're going to put it in there and actually what we've got to do first is get the built-in and math and we need to select the equals sign here there we go So let's copy this and paste it. Oops, I'm sorry. Actually, we're going to select this one. Copy and paste. Okay. And then down here, we're going to select, we're going to go to My Blocks and the Image Sprite. And you want to find where it says Set Image Sprite X to. And then we're going to go to built-in and math and select plus. And then we're going to get image sprite X. So go to my blocks and image sprite. Image sprite X. And we got to give it a value. And actually, the left, for the left, it's going to be at negative 10. So we want to set it 
at negative 10 for both of these. So let's go ahead and hit save here. So when we click the left button, it's going to set the image sprite to the position plus, or actually minus 10. And then it checks the position of it, and then it'll do it again, basically. So let's open the emulator, and you can hit the left mouse button, or the left button, and it'll go to the left each time you click it. So now we got to set those up for the rest of the buttons. And actually, if we go to My Blocks and Right Button, we'll select when the right button's clicked here. And if we select this, we can go to Control C, press Control C, and then Control V, and copy and paste it. And do the same thing for the if then do statement. And we just need to take this out. And we need to change the value here to positive 10 for the right. So we need to make a variable. So let's left click on the light green part, select definition and variable. This variable will be called right position. And actually I'm going to go ahead, let's do them for all the variables. So we're going to have an up position. And we're also going to have a down variable for down position. And I'm just going to copy this and attach them. Oop. There we go. Okay, so on this, we need to get this part for the right position. So go to My Blocks, My Definitions, and select Global Right Position, and let's put it in there. And save it, and then go to your emulator and test it out. Make sure it works. Alright, so our right button is working, our left button's working. Let's set up the up and down. So go to My Blocks, see the up button. When the up button is clicked, and it's going to be different here because we want it to go to the Y axis. X is left and right, and Y is up and down. So let's go to Image Sprite 1, scroll to the bottom, and find where it says Set Image Sprite 1.Y2. We'll click there. And we can go ahead, we can take this part, so let's copy and paste it. And let's delete this because we need it to be for the Y. So go to Image Sprite Y. Select that. And then let's copy this. So select it. You'll see the little orange under it. And do Control C and then Control V. And we need to take this out because we need it to say Up Position. So go to My Blocks, My Definitions, and Up Position. We need to take this out because it needs to say Y. So Control C, Control V. Same with this. So let's detach this. We need to delete this one. Go to Image Sprite 1. Set the Image Sprite 1.Y to. And let's delete this. And we need to replace it with the Y. Dot y. And up is actually going to have a value of negative 10. So let's do that. Save it and let's make sure it works. So up is working. Now we just need a down button. So let's go to my blocks and the down button and go to when the down button is clicked, do this. And I'm going to use the little scroll bar, scroll down here. And you can also zoom in and out with this. Okay. 
There we go. So I'm going to copy this here. Looks like it goes on. Okay. Control C, Control V. We need to change this to positive 10. And then select this, Control C, Control V. We need to take out up position and replace it with my blocks, my definitions, down position. And this needs to be positive 10. Oops. There we go. So let's save. Let's check if it works. Yes, it works. Now if we hit the down arrow and it goes all the way to the top and it stops, that's a problem. We can fix that. So what we need to do to fix that is go to image my blocks and then image sprite one and we'll go up to the top and find where it says when the image sprite the edge is reached do this. So we'll take that and drag it out and we're going to go to image sprite and we are going to set the X and the Y values. So set image sprite X to go back to image sprite Y. So we have the X and the Y and we're going to set them and we're going to give them a value. So we can select one of these, control C and control V and we're going to set it to 100. So I'm just going to copy and paste, save it and then I'm going to show you what that does. Basically, if we hit the top now, it's going to take us to this position right here, which is 100 on the X and 100 on the Y. Now if we change it to 1, and we save it and try it out, it'll take us it should take us up here. Let's see. Oops, I think I uh, let's check this out. Yeah, I left it at a hundred and one. Okay, let's try that again. All right, it's at one now. Save it. Now, when we hit the top, it should go in the top left corner and stay there. Yes, so it'll start right there. Okay, so once you have that done, you have the control set up, that's going to be the end of part two. So go ahead and save on your blocks editor and save on your project and you are done with part two. Thank you.